What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to part 5 of the CBR Rebuild. If you're new to the channel, my name is Gareth Collins and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and turn your post notifications on so that you don't miss out on future videos. In the previous video, I installed the whole front end and the wheels. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put the link in the description below. In this video, I'll be installing that s Pen link pipe and that Yoshimura slip-on as well as give the bike a full service but the only thing I won't be changing is the plugs because I found out from the previous owner that he actually changed the plugs recently. As well guys, I've got the fairings that I want to put on the bike so I'll do a fairing reveal at the end of the video. So without further ado, let's get to work. Alright guys, so the exhaust is in and it looks pretty good, but now I'm facing a small problem. I have to see if I can get this to tighten onto there. So I'm going to go to the place I used to work at and see if I can make a bracket for this. Thank you. 
All right guys, so the exhaust system is installed and everything is connected properly, but before we actually go ahead and fire her up, I want to go ahead and take out the air filter and clean that up. Apparently it's got a DNA performance air filter and then install that tank and the battery so that we can see what she sounds like. Alright guys, while that air filter is busy drying out, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to clean up and blend in these scratches with your frame. If you have a silver aluminum frame, all you do is you take some turtle polish and a cloth and you apply it and move in a circular motion and it will slowly blend all of those scratches. Let me go ahead and show you guys. Alright guys, so I just finished polishing the frame and you can actually see that there's a big difference. We had a lot of light scratches here at the bottom. We still have the scratches on top, but those are a lot deeper than the ones that were at the bottom. But nonetheless, I still think that the polish did a great job. And uh, I recommend that you guys should try this out on your frames and see what the end result is. But now that that's complete, let's go ahead and install that air filter and the tank as well as the battery. And then I need to install that front end in order to get the bike started up so that we can hear what this exhaust sounds like. Let's get to work.
Alright guys, everything is running smooth and the bike sounds great. Now the only thing left to do is to bleed the brakes because the front brake lines are completely dried out and then I want to change the brake fluid at the back. I don't need to change the pads because they are still pretty good. And then I want to do a fairing reveal and the fairings are in that box right there. So let's get to it. All right guys, the brakes are bled and now for the moment you have all been waiting for. The unboxing of the fairings.
Yes, that's right guys, I'm going with the Repsol kits. I think these fairings look absolutely amazing. It's the same fairings that are on the SP model and I think it's just gonna look insane on this bike. And that's why I went with the orange grips and the shorties, as well as I wanna put on some extras. I've got some knee grips, some Mark Marquez stickers, some decals. I also wanna put in the RGB and the LED headlights that I put on the BMW. I've also got a clip-on pad and the integrated tail light. And then let me know in the comments down below if I should install these engine covers. The one is a little bit damaged, it is second hand, but I'm not quite sure if I want to use it. So let me know in the comments down below. And also guys, I've got a custom made tank pad set that's on the way and you'll see that in the next video. And with that being said, that's gonna be a wrap for this video guys. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button and turn your post notifications on so that you don't miss out on future videos. Also guys, make sure to follow me on Instagram so that you can get an inside scoop before YouTube. Until next time, peace out.